Welcome back. In our last session, we explored how to create a single user. However, in an enterprise setting, dealing with individual users is not always the norm. Instead, we often encounter scenarios involving the management of a large number of users. In this session, we will look into how to handle such situations. Specifically, we'll focus on the process of creating bulk users using PowerShell and Microsoft Graph. Let's get started. So friends, here is the requirement to depict the scenario of enterprise. I've prepared a CSV file with three users, and our goal is to create these users in our M365 environment. While I've listed only three users, the program we're about to write will be capable of handling any number of users. So, let's dive into Visual Studio Code and start coding. First, let's create a file, give it a name as per your choice I will give as per this course order. Now let's start writing the code. First, we will import the Microsoft Graph Users module, which likely contains commandlet or say functions for managing user accounts through Microsoft Graph API. Now let's establish a connection to Microsoft Graph using the ConnectMG Graph commandlet. This connection is required to interact with Microsoft Graph API. Here I am writing function that takes a set of parameters, perms, and creates a new user using the new mg user commandlet. This function will be called with a loop to process new user creation. Let's write the function for update too. This function updates an existing user's properties, display name, given name, surname, using the update ng user commandlet. Last function we are writing here is to delete the existing user by its ID. This function deletes a user using the remove ng user commandlet. We have completed all the function writing now it's time to write example usage. First imports user data from a CSV file. Iterates through each user's data. Converts the password to a secure string. Builds a parameter collection. And then calls the new user function to create a new user. The script outputs the message indicating that the user has been created. Now let's execute the code. To execute the code, select the code from line number 1 to line number 33. Right click and select Run Selection. This execution is performing three actions. First importing of the Microsoft Graph module for users. Second connecting the Microsoft Graph API using Connect Graph and at last loading all the functions into the memory which we have written. So first we will load the CSV file data into the user data variable. It executed and loaded the data into the variable user data. Let's see that. To see that select user data variable and right click and run selection. You notice over here that all the three entries of CSV file into the user data variable now select let's run the bulk user creation code by selecting line number 40 to line number 59. Right click and select run selection. Over here you see into the terminal we got all the users display name into the screen. It means that user is created now. So to verify this let's go to the M365 admin portal. We are into the M365 portal. Select user section to verify whether user is created or not. And you will notice here all the three user is created over here. This is what I wanted to show you in this session. See you in the next session.